Bonjour and welcome to this new video. So today it's a, it's a very bright day and um, I'm going to do some gouache and we'll see how it will go. I'm going to do, uh, you know, the little, uh, I don't know if I have one here. I'll do, uh, I'll show you uh, the little gouache, uh, gouache succulents I do. So it's what I will do today. I need to do two more and uh, my page for the art book. If you haven't seen the video where I talk about the art book I'm doing, I will put a link somewhere here. So let's start some gouache. I need to work on on this one I have made I have made a sketch of this one already. So let's go. I am obviously using reference and um, you will see later. I will I will take it out be it, but for now I'm just I'm just putting the the overall structure and position of everything. Gouache is quite new for me. Before this succulent series, I've been using a little for color studies or for fun uh, in the sketchbook, but nothing more. Uh, two years ago, I bought uh, seven tubes of extra fine linen gouache by Le Franc Bourgeois, and so far I didn't do anything illustrative with it. Now I have finished the sketch, but I want to try something different than usual. Uh, which means that usually I just sorry. So usually I just have a sketch like this. For this plant, I think it will be enough. But for this one, it's quite complex. I have a lot of area of shadows and light, and I think I'm gonna try putting the area myself. I mean, with uh, with my sketch, I'm just gonna add a little line like this. To say here I will put some shadows. I think it should help me uh, later. So, so I'm gonna do this and then we are going to start painting. I've um, put my gouache in my palette and I just re wet it to use it. I uh, just add a little bit of water, like I think I sh like I showed you. It's not as smooth as fresh gouache, but uh, I really got the hang of it and get a, a real good pass for my paintings. Anyway, it's enough for what I do, and I'm happy about the result I get. For the brushes, I use the exact same one as my watercolors painting. Would you, like, would you like some kind of what's in your bag video? Uh, you know, a video where I show you all the supplies I use the most often. I think maybe it would interest some of you. But anyway, uh, tell me what you think about it. We are the next day and um, we decided to go um, where we were meant to go for blackberries. I think it's blackberries. I will find the name. Um, but uh, it isn't ready yet. They are still a bit acid and sour. So uh, we ended up just painting and I painted uh, the trees you have here. And here it, how it looks. I've been having some difficulties with, with planting trees recently. I'm not too happy 
sorry about the microphone, too happy about the one on the left here. It's a bit too complicated. So I decided to paint some trees to see uh, if I can improve. I had fun with this one. Hey, it's been a few days already, uh, but I still haven't finished uh, my gouache painting. I had uh, to take care of the holiday part of uh, of my summer. Uh, we went on a hike with my family two days ago and we spent the day uh, and part of the afternoon in a mountain lake. And we spent the day uh, hiking and part of the afternoon at a mountain lake. It was so great. <laughs> we based uh, in the lake. It was quite cold, but you know, it was such a hot day. It was it was really nice. Um, and I painted a little the lake and the mountain around it, of course, because you know I I like to <laughs> I like to fill the sketchbook and I need to fill the sketchbook if I want to show you a sketchbook tour uh, of this one one day. And it's a sketchbook I really like because you know I only draw. Um, uh, outdoor sketch and and some other tests when I need to do some test of watercolor so it's it's really pretty I really like it um, and the day after that we uh, just enjoy a bit of family time because uh, so lots of my family was there during the weekend and I did didn't paint at all but I did sketch a bit so now so now let's finish this uh, succulent gouache together by the way, I should totally add the date of the footage somewhere because I record this video quite early compared to when I post it because I want my patrons to be able to see the video earlier than YouTube and also since I'm on a half holiday, I don't want to stress myself uh, with anything and especially not videos because I want to keep this uh, something fun. So, as I told you in my first video about my work holiday that I will link somewhere, I had a bit of a burnout during the confinement and, and I really want to take things slow and recover. Maybe even find a new way of life more in tune with my biological rhythm. Being an artist is already not having a conventional way of life. Um, in the way that uh, you may be earning less uh, but living better with passion and with your own time management and you can still be happy just enjoying what life gives, gives you it's what that summer is about for me enjoying things around me and finding what i love too about the painting, uh, it may be one of my <laughs> favorites of the series uh, with, the pink with the pink grapto pelatum that I will paint on the, on the screen somewhere. I'm trying to learn the name of the plants I'm painting, so I'm sorry if I don't, uh, don't pronounce this co correctly. This one is a calon Chloe Kalamchoi. I'll write the name on the video because I, I just can't pronounce it. Mm. So <laughs> I really learned a lot with gouache and honestly I'm loving gouache more and more after this series. And I know uh, for the Garden Frog art book that I'm putting together uh, uh, right now with this painting and many more, I plan on doing other pages on other themes uh, with gouache. Because honestly, <laughs> it's really, really growing on me. Have you ever tried gouache? Tell me about your experience in the comment. I'd love to read it. And if you have any tips uh, on it, I will, I will really happily take it. Because I'm still very, very new. Uh, I think that's all. I hope you you enjoyed this little video. I, I, I filmed it over the span of a week <laughs> or something. I'm trying to keep uh, the video focused on one thing. This video was the, the succulent painting. Since I do a lot of things, I still have a little bit of client work during the week that I don't want to show because I can't. Um, uh, lots can happen in the week in the time I have uh, I have a full painting finished. Uh, so, so I hope you enjoyed and if you like uh, the video as always follow because I will do more content like this with uh, painting mixed with mountains and hiking and and
talking about my Garden Folk art book that I'm putting together right now. So, thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.